Welcome back to Tony'sBix.com. I'm Tony T. Time for a college basketball three-pack here with Ramon Scott, who's been on fire the past 14 months in college hoops. So we're ready to roll here with Ramon. Three-pack here for Sunday's card. So let's bring him in right now. Ramon, what's going on? Yeah, Tony brought you four winners yesterday. Uh, we did lose the one we lost went overtime, of course. Of course, that, that happens. That's how it rolls, you know. But anyway, looking forward to the Sunday card here with Ramon here. We get started here and uh, from a college hoops, and we'll get – Underway here with our college basketball three pack. Well, they keep this they keep this team on the board. Temple here on the road facing UTSA. Uh, we got UTSA laying four total 152 and a half. Yeah, this will be a, a highly scrutinized game if anybody missed it. Uh, there was maybe a little bit of discussion on a Temple's last game. You know, everybody makes a big stink about it, Tony. Sometimes games like this where they talk about uh, inside information, it's not necessarily sometimes that. You know, it could be something is just somebody knows about a team having an illness or something like that, and the betting uh, kind of goes one-sided. But and nonetheless, Temple will be in action here against UTSA. Nothing too serious going on. We haven't heard any news yet out of that. A little uh, uh, a suggestion there. So let's take a look at this one. Temple, they've lost 12 of their last 15 games. They failed in back-to-back -back home games. They've gone over in six of their last nine. They won 83-77 uh, back on February 18th as a seven-point favorite over UTSA. UTSA's covered six straight. They're four and 11 straight up in their last 15. They've gone over seven of their last eight games as a favorite. That's where I'm headed. Let's go over 153. Uh, can't fool around there, Tony. It's just going to be bad defense, I would think, here in this one. Let's go over with the uh, Temple Owls and UTSA Roadrunners. All right, well, Scott, get his best bets over at TonySpace.com. Unit leader here last year in college hoops. Uh, off to a great start in 2024 in college hoops. Temple and UTSA, he likes over 152 and a half in this one. All right, let's continue here on our uh, college basketball three-pack. Ramon, remember the promo code TONYT at checkout. will save you that 20% off. All right, next up here on our rundown, we're going to go to 830 Eastern time. Uh, we're going to bring up uh, this game between Texas A&M Commerce and Northwestern State. So, uh, we will move the chains here and get to that game at 8.30 Eastern time for this uh, card here on on uh, on uh, Sunday. So here we go. Texas A&M Commerce against Northwestern State. Uh, A&M Commerce laying a point, total 136.5. Yeah, this is Southland semifinal action in Lake Charles, Louisiana. So uh, the only thing we're going to be investigating here is how bad Commerce is offensively, Tony. They're one of the worst in the country, certainly. They've gone under in 10 of their last 16 on the road. Very poor offensively, quite frankly. Northwestern State's gone under in seven of their last 10. They break about fourth, I'd say, in conference defense. Uh, Commerce won uh, the season finale uh, just a couple of days ago uh, in three overtimes, mind you. New, uh, Northwestern State did win at home back on February 3rd, 70 to 57. Uh, I'm going to end up going under here in this one, Tony, 136. Commerce, uh, bad defensively. Northwestern State, uh, not too bad defensively. Uh, defensively. A &M, uh, Commerce, poor offensively, as I said. So uh, I've got this one going under for sure. All right, most Scott get his best bets over at ToningSpace.com. College Hoops action here. Texas A&M Commerce, Northwestern State. He likes this one to go under total here of 136 all right let's continue here on or 136 gonna have to do your line shopping get the best numbers all right let's continue here on the show guys reminder ramon's handicapper page is in the description there click it find out what he's got for sale on sunday topping the producer last year in college hoops this year off to a great start uh, uh and you add through the numbers we're looking to nearly um five thousand units of profit the last two seasons document over at tonyspace.com uh, that's about 14 months worth of work there. Fantastic results, guys. So go ahead and get signed up. Let's continue here on our three-pack from College Hoops. Uh, we're going to go to 9.30 Eastern Time Summit League action. We get right to it right now. As we got uh, Nebraska, Omaha, North Dakota, we got uh, North Dakota, a two-and-a-half point favorite, total 145. Yeah, and this one's uh, in Sioux Falls, a famous arena. So uh, 
This is Summit League uh, quarterfinal action here with Omaha and North Dakota in this one. You have uh, uh, teams split the season series. Actually, the home teams won and covered both uh, by double digits as short three, three and a half point favorites. So uh, it was a home team dominated series. North Dakota's gone under in four of their last six. They've covered, uh, they were fourth in conference defense, North Dakota was. Uh, Omaha won 79-61 at home back on January 24th. See this number here, 145. Uh, I'm going to end up going under here uh, in this one. Uh, One with uh, uh, Omaha and North Dakota on Sunday. Mo Scott gets best bets over at Tony'sBigs.com. Nebraska, Omaha, and North Dakota. He says go under total of 145. All right, uh, we got you our three-pack here from College Hoops. From Ramon, but uh, let's take a look, Ramon, over at the card here for Sunday. A lot of NBA, a lot of NHL, lots of college hoops on the board. We've talked about Ramon's record in college hoops here for this year 566 units of profit. But when you go to his handicapper page and you click the 2023 tab, you'll see 4,373 units of profit. Do the math. Uh, that's approaching 5,000 units of profit in college hoops the past 14 months. Find a handicapper that's doing that on these multi capper sites. You won't find, I don't think you'll find any. I mean, these numbers are outstanding. All right, Ramon, champion handicapper in college hoops. What do you have going on over at TonySweets.com for Sunday? Yeah, thanks, Tony. We're just getting it rolling. We had a pretty okay today, a uh, pretty good day today. So check me out over at Tony'sPicks.com. Make sure to check it out. I mean, uh, these games are going to fire up at noon Eastern on Sunday, uh, not the overwhelming card like on Saturday, but these games are coming uh, earlier today for sure. So check me out over at Tony'sPicks.com. We fired away on college basketball and in NBA. Came through with some winners yesterday as well on the NBA card, and we'll have uh, NHL as well as a five-game card on Sunday. But this would be a great time to pick up the seven-day package because of all the action this week in college basketball. Tony, uh, the games are coming all day long, all week long pretty much, especially as we head towards uh, the weekend. There'll be conference tournament action. You're going to be uh, locked and loaded, armed and ready with uh, top-rated selections from me uh, over at Tony'sPicks.com and use that promo code TonyT at checkout for those individual packages tomorrow. But pick up that seven-day. That's really the way I think we want to roll right now, considering all the great college basketball action this week. That's right, guys. Got to go with Mo Scott over at Tony'sPicks.com. Get that seven-day all sports pass. Uh, cover the conference tournament action. As I said, Ramon, uh, nearly 5,000 units of profit here over the past 14 months in college hoops documented. Verify that by going to his handicapper page. You'll find a link to his handicapper page right in the description and get signed up. And don't forget that promo code TONYT checkout. We'll save you that 20% off. All right, that's our three pack for Ramon. I'm Tony T. Make it a winning Senate. And we'll be back with you again tomorrow here on, on Tony's.com rundowns.